Hey, I'm Kev Kim. Let's go and go back to Dakar 18. Uh, so we finally can complete this damn thing. Uh, so in Argentina film, Saltia to Berlin on stage 10. The Dakar has covered pretty much all of this region, but the dunes that the race will have to ride on the far sandy plateau during the first part of the day are a new addition. Along the way, they will cross the path of the assistant vehicles on the way to Berlin. And for the first time, these will be allowed to intervene during the special stage. But beware! Time is ticking. Anyway, this is a navigation contest, so it will be decided in real constants at the end of the special stage. So we've only got 33 ray points. 706 kilometers over sand, soil, stones, vegetation, but it is sunny. And if we go scroll out a bit, there we go. We're starting there, and then we're ending up in arse. Always good. As our vehicle's fully repaired. If we've gone where we were overall, we're close. We're in touching distance, so everyone. If we're talking about relatively Earth to other Milky Way galaxies. Uh, so we've got Dupree leading the way in his Persia ahead of Nina Rama in the Mini. We've got Valens Persia from 1987 in third of Pet Hensel and the Vegas. And Homeo turnover turn over in Sith, the Argentine. That's on the previous stage. We're okay in 12th. We've had 40 for your vision, not 2020. And Loeb led the way to Pet Hensel, Roma, Science, and Sosa. So, let's get going. Ready to go. This is going to be a long day. Keep sharp. It's, oh, hello, cameraman. Five, hey, how you doing? Three, Look at that fan hollering. One, Mentalist. Go. Going crazy one, already. Continue forward to the right. So we're going forward. Forward to the right. Keep going. We're Five going. Left along the river. Vegetation. 500 go left. Keep left along the river. 500, left, danger 2, more or less visible. Oh, hello. Left to off track on cap 290, more or less visible. Follow traces, waypoint okay, 7 k's. Follow traces, where? Oh, are those the traces? I don't know, I'm just going to keep following the cap heading. We're lost already. Who had under a minute? Where was the cat lost? God, so wrong there'd be rocks here. Three Ks, follow traces. Follow this. I can follow this. As oh god. Maybe I can't. Five hundred. Turn right to traces on cap twenty three. Oh there we go. Now turn right to traces. Cap twenty three. Waypoint OK. There we go, cap twenty three. Five Ks and two hundred. Continue on traces. And send it kilometers to 287. They've done two way points out of 33. Stay on traces. We're staying. God, I've forgotten how much I love the co driver. 1K, turn left to traces on cap 287. Oh, careful. Now, turn left to traces on cap 287. Waypoint turn left. Okay. My own was cautious there. I've done one practice run. We missed this turning because the co-driver didn't tell me where to go. Because we were slightly two. off where we needed to be, so... Oh, God. Straight ahead to small dunes. Danger two. Cap oh, no. They've trapped us. Why did they go this way, co-driver? He just heard me mouth mouth him, that's what's happened. He's like, I don't know your shit, mate. 1K, tight right, danger two. What, this way? Tight right to cap 37. Off oh, track. Turn. Turn 37, okay. 3Ks and 400, continue on cap 37. Oh my god, we're really going to be exploring the dunes now. Two caves. Stay on cap 37. I'm staying. 
Or not moving from its side. Right on cap 108. Small dunes. Oh god. Oh, we're gonna flip look. Right to cap 108. Small dunes. Danger two. Waypoint okay. It's a good power slide. What are these? 500. Frost dune just ahead. Danger two. Rocks on the left side. Rocks on the left. Oh, rocks good. Dune just ahead. Danger two. Rocks on the left. Yeah, Rocks, rocks are on the left. Day. Get ready to turn left. Follow traces. I'm firing. Well, that's how we're doing well. Left on traces. Cap 19. Waypoint OK. There you go. 500. Oh, we might actually be Danger two. pretty similar, actually. Now, right to Rio. Oh god, you're not right about wrong about this, shall I say? For once you are right. You want me to follow this? It's like WRC France. What the hell? Or Mexico, should I say? We're being gravel. Go into the river. Got it. Oh, you don't want us to go in the river. 7Ks and 200. Continue on track. Continue it. I was meant to preview that code 2020, but I had to concentrate so much just to stay on the damn route. Also, I have time to talk about the Knights of Nassau Etihad, the reigning champ, three time Dakar champ. Well, his main rival is Nanny Roma. Champion on two and four wheels, if I remember correctly. Remain on track. Peter Hansel, Mr. Dakar. Keep going straight ahead. He's won multiple times on two and four wheels. Left. We're going left? Where? Left. Danger two. Follow traces. It's more like go straight One ahead. Forward to the left. Danger two. More or less visible. Any of the likes of Carlos Sainz, double champ. Guillaume de Vies as well. South African, very good. 500, forward, oh, danger God. two, more or less visible. Are you just following these traces? Forward, on cap 357, danger two. Yeah, that's right. 1K, get ready to turn left and enter Rio, danger two. Are you ready to Rio? Left to Rio, danger two, cap 291. 3Ks and 800. Follow Rio. And then we have the likes of... You see that Raji, Khalid al Kasimi, Martin Prokof. And Debenant. Fernando Alonso okay. look forward to as well. Orlando Ternova. We have Kishina Gutierrez as well. Turn right. Danger 2. Continue in Rio. Follow traces. So lots of names to follow. It's got Bernard. Tim Brink. Back in the Toyota, you got Jakub Kozkowski, Konski, should I say? He's been very good in recent years too. So lots of drivers to watch out for for the overall victory. Now you may have noticed I've chosen this out here because he's virtually done everything you can off road. Multiple, I think 13, 14 times now. Middle Eastern rally champ. Won this year's title with the VW Polo, I believe. He's a multiple cross country rallies champion, multiple Dakar champion. Attention, more or less visible. Cap 281. It's one, two WRC two titles, had two seasons in the WRC. Going for lots of Citroen, Ford. The right. Forward to the right. Follow Rio on cap 297. I'm following. I suppose I haven't got lost at the moment. I uh, know. Should have seen that coming. Let's try and get out of it. It's like they want to drive us into the rock. Can we get through the gap here? Track. Leave Rio. Easy. 
No. Oh, for God's sake, I reverse majorly back into it. <laughs> Look away. That guy has been said someone else has got stuck behind, thankfully. Yeah, Ted's also won. Tight left on track. Leave Rio for 100 right. Rock on the right side. The PWRC title won. In the Intercontinental Raid Championship this Forward year's won. Right. It's won the Acopius Rally Forward Trice. Right. Including this year. Left. What's sake. Oh, you're not. I've lost the road. Where is it? There it is. God, this isn't confusing at all, is it? We should return to the last road book note. I am. You could have just told us we went the wrong way. So I meant to go this way. Got it. Oh no, there's someone to follow. Quick, follow them. Lead the way, Mini. Mini, you're very slow. Forward, to the left. There we go, we're back on track. Oh, down the inside. Get ready to turn left to Rio. Rocks just ahead. Enter Rio and turn left. Cap 169. Waypoint okay. That's ahead of turnover. Back down to 14th though. You've almost made it a third the way through the stage you knew it's like. Two case. Continue on Rio. Let's go. 500. Oh, we can do Follow this. Rio. Follow Rio. I'm following Rio. 400. Left and leave Rio. Turn left. Leave Rio. Oh my god. Danger two. More or less visible. I've forgotten out. Pay attention to the cab heading. What do you want? I've gone for a waypoint. I don't understand how though. We're moving away from our cap. I've done a waypoint here though. Turn left. Follow Rio. What? Where do you want me to go? What Rio? 5Ks and 400. Continue straight ahead in Rio. Are we on Rio? I have no idea what's happening. I guess then this is Rio? 3Ks. Remain focused. Stay in Rio. Attention. I'm trying. I'm just a bit confused at the moment. Somewhere we're back up to 13 for the Gutierrez. 1K. Straight ahead to exit Rio. Even though all we did was literally spin in a circle. And somehow like that, that's the way we we're meant to go. At 500, enter Rio, right on cap 242. Right, follow Rio, cap 242. 6Ks and 800, continue in Rio. Well, this is like the Rufio rally, isn't it? No, you did right at the beginning of the year. With all these Rios. Of course, we were much better back then. We've gone a bit worse now. I'm just trying to get the grips Three again. Stay in Rio. Let's go. I'm staying. One K. Oh, Continue look at that move. We're getting there. We're getting a bit more confidence. To the right. Follow Rio. Basically, we've... Realise we can't listen to our co-driver. That's something I recognised quite early on last time. Now, now I remember. Don't actually listen to them. They're too late. By the time they tell you something, you're already way past the point. Man, I wish I made another Dakar game. Because the only thing that's really rubbish about this game is the handling. For some reason they made the handling without wheel users in mind. Which is very strange. For a driving game. One K. 
Forward to the right. Follow Rio. Oh, we know that. Follow Hello, Rio. buddy. Come back here, buddy. Is that all Hervinen? Oh, God. Right. Cap 266. Exit Rio. I forgot how rubbish the brakes were. 2K to 200. Off track on cap 266. Just following the wheel tracks. We've got a buddy to follow now. Forward to track. More or less visible. 900. Left on track. Turn left to track. More or less visible. Cap 185. Oh, we're halfway through. This might actually be a short stage. I thought this would be much longer. Oh, this is really okay. flat out as well. Go ahead. Oh, we've got a tight turning coming up though. 66. Can't bear it. Better watch out for it. There it is. How are you last again? Oh, is that turn over in front? No. Seems like they can't make up their mind. God, don't be any rocks. Especially at this speed. Be knocked out. I'm staying. I don't really have my eyes open, but I'm staying. I was saying, on gap 66. <laughs> I don't know otherwise. So, 126, and we're moving. Turn right to track. More or less visible. Cap 101. Turn right to track. Let's go. Cap 101. Here it is. One oh, did we get a break? Off track after a rock. Cap 142. There's a rock. Turn right to off track. Cap 142. Danger oh, right. 500. Cross track. Cap 138. Straight ahead on cap 138. Off track. There we go. We're going towards it. Two Ks before the road. Get ready for tight right. Speed limit zone 30. Danger 2. Slow it. Slow it. Okay, we seem to have missed where we're going. Just a touch. Tight right, start speed limit zone 30. There we go. Gently in, maybe too gently, but we've made it through. Hey, we still got a buddy to follow his way in front. So now we do actually get some time to talk about the competitive of Dakar 2020. Shall we not see Dupree or the back? This year, or Hervenen. He stopped after 2017. He seems to have gone back to his Ford Escort and now he's just ran out all over the place. And actually competed on the Corpus Rally. I believe it was the Corpus Rally this year in the ERC. But yeah, we've got Atiad probably leading the way. Carlos Sainz as well in the Mini. Nanny Roma, who came second last year. Of course, Peter Hansel in his Mini, you got to watch out for. And then a young pole. Seems to be very good, finishing the top five in recent years. The Vs as well for Toyota. It's mainly going to be Mini V Toyota, but you do have the likes of Prokof and the Ford Raptor competing. You have the likes of Christina Gutierrez competing in a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And Roman Demar, remember him? Three time Pikes Peak champion with the Volkswagen IDR, breaking the record that Lope had last time out. And I was so. Also, three time the Mon champion. Well, he's competing in the Dakar in his own vehicle. Turn left to off track. Attention. His own RD Limited vehicle. Now, turn left to off track on cap 107. Attention. We're going. Oh, God, don't be too bumpy. Oh, is that the only kind of checkpoint we have? God damn it. 
I'm gonna get a loss now. 500. Enter Rio. Turn right. Off track. Turn oh, right. Oh, my God. Rio. Attention. Smooth transition. Seven Ks. Follow Rio. Attention. So he did not ship bricks. As we're two thirds of the way through. Oh my God, this is this is peak weaving. Never had to steer so much. Not even in a rally game. Not even around France or Monte Carlo. Once again, it doesn't help that the handling is pretty awful. Unfortunately. Well, that's the only thing I need to improve, but... Stay in Rio. For going. what I remember from the developers... I lost the deal with Deep Silver. So they're still working. I still hope... For a new Dakar game, they just... All the promise updates they had for this title they couldn't bring out. 500, exit Rio. More or less visible. Attention. Forward, exit Rio on cap 138. Follow oh, we can tracing. do that. Eight so yeah, big shame Follow that this tracing. game Go just on. wasn't allowed to live up to its potential, but... That sounds like most games nowadays, to be honest, unfortunately. Or oh, they do live up to potential, but it takes two, three years. Like Rainbow Six Siege. Anyone remember how awful that game was when it got released? Then it got constantly updates, and by two or three, it was probably my favourite online shooter. And it's still going strong now. It's had some of its strongest years, and year, what, four or five it's been out now? Ridiculous. I thought that was now. Turn left, cap 47. Follow traces. There you go. 4Ks in 800. Attention. We're looking pretty slow compared to everyone else, but at least we're making it through. I'm going to follow these traces. Follow traces. 1K, get ready to enter Rio and turn left. Oh, God's sake. Rio. Turn left. I've entered. Okay, Rio is not happy. Stay in Rio. 10Ks? In this flatbed? Like, it literally... I can't tell the sides of the Rio from the rest. I think I'm still following it. He's not telling me otherwise. Oh, this is tough just to see. It's not straight ahead though. It's waving. Always lying to me, the co-driver. Never trust your co-driver. Oh, God. Turn that way. I mean, it's something you learn over the years in rally games as well. Like, I think on WRC8 with some of the stages I know now, it's just visual rather than actually listening to... Co driver, you know, the co driver is one of the best in all the rally games I've experienced. It still has its moments, unfortunately. I like how they put in the slow down stuff for that tight corner, it really does help you break. Oh, God, try to follow. Oh, no. Turn right, turn left. So yeah, the competitors. That guy trying to try It's going to be good fun to see how Alonso does. Like he hasn't, he has barely any experience. A Ray Raid. Like he did M Morocco. Go on. I'm going. Four Ks and a half. Follow Rio. Attention. And then got the podium in South Africa, I think it was. That's really it for Alonso. So, 
If he makes it to the finish, that's a huge achievement. To be honest. For someone with such a lack of off-road racing experience. Like, even for the best racers. Even for the best in Dakar, it's just difficult to finish sometimes. Such as... Leave Rio and turn right to track on cap 211. Such as Robbie Gordon. I remember in his Hummer at the beginning of the decade, he had so much pace, but could never finish the damn Dakar. There are issues. Same for Sebastian Loeb. Even last year when he got on the podium, he had minor issues like, along the way. You're always going to have issues with that guy. He's just trying to limit them. Three Ks, and often that's the winner who track. has really minor issues or, or somehow gets away with no issues for like, the whole two weeks. But that very rarely happens. 500, continue on track. On the right side. But with the Dakar being held in Saudi Arabia for the first time in the sand and dunes, like, that is going to heavily favour our Atiyad. They said multiple Middle Eastern rally champ, cross country rallies champ, incredible okay. experience on the dunes. Right Same for Al Qasimi, Khaled Al Qasimi in the Peugeot. Still competing in that after a year away. Right to Rio. Cap 298. Follow Rio. Oh, he's competing in an old Peugeot. Thought it was in the back of them, but what's he not? And then you have Lassid out Raj, who's got a couple of top 10s in the Dakar. I'm more known from okay. WRC2 and days. Enter Rio. Turn left. Follow Rio. There we go. Three Ks and 600. Continue in Rio. Like a guy who I followed a lot. During his 20s when he was competing that. Now he's in his 30s. He's doing rally raid. Like, quite a few former WRC drivers like Martin Brokoff, who were like privateers at WRC level, but with the WRC 2017 regs making it basically just a manufacturer class, you've seen quite a few of these drivers now going over to Rally Road. Which is exciting for Rally Raid, like, helps boost to the fields. Exciting as well as seeing them compete in different vehicles, even though they'll never be Cross Rio just ahead. Cap on the level Cross Rio, Cap okay. of the factory boys from Toyota and Mini, but they can definitely get a top 10 at least, maybe even top 5. They to get through relatively unscathed. So, I'm very excited to see what will happen in Dakar 2020, like in the car class. I'm at 281. Go to. I'm already there, mate. All right. I don't know why well, I've gone all kind of fake Danny Dyer on him. That's what happens when you do this. Uh, slow finish with 36 minutes. Okay. I say we should be quicker than that. I don't really know how much longer we've got, though. As we've got three waypoints to go. So who am I going to pick for the cars? I think it is hard to look past Al Yatiad. Oh, follow the traces. Where? Here. Turn right to track on cap 15. Danger 2. More or less visible. Like, it is just made for him to grab his fourth Dakar and back to back Dakars, I feel. But I said, Peter Hansel, been around a long time. Danger 2. Left. 
to all track. Cap 324. Danger 2. And I said Nani Roma was so close to winning it last year. Or this year, shall I say. Can't rule him out. That's maybe Mini's main man. And then Carlos Sainz again, the veteran. 57 now and still racing. That's incredible. El Matador. And I said for Alonso just finishing. Don't care if it's 5th, 20th. 87th as long as he finishes all right that's all he needs to do get that experience on under his belt something that i said like Loeb didn't really do well in his first few years like he just went flat out I even mean, he was a bit unlucky as well like 1K, forward to the left, sometimes you do get that track. with the way the dunes are or the terrain is forward to the left cap 286 Oh, here we go. Finish. We Good done it. Let's get yes. For the last stage today. So yeah, podium out. Yeah. Maybe Roman pair hands on. Not sure science will get there. We'll see, you know. And we'll see how we do next time. I believe at the halfway mark of this stage. So, thanks for watching. Let's see how we do next time.